Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Science for Everyone. Today I will discuss a very important topic with you people. And the, the title of my today's lecture is E-Test. And uh, I will discuss the complete procedure of the E-Test. And also I will discuss the structure of the strip that is used in the uh, E-Test. What is basically an E-Test? So in the, in the beginning, I would just want to tell you that it is used to uh, check the MIC concentration of, uh, um, MIC means the minimum uh, inhibitory concentration of drugs, okay? Uh, what is this? Uh, I will discuss in the detail in the in a later video, but this test is very much important uh, because it check the success, uh, sensitivity of antibiotic, okay? against um, a microorganism. So this test is widely used all over the world and it is very much, uh, uh, it show efficiency and the results are quite correct, okay? So you, uh, if you are a microbiologist so, uh, or if you are a student of microbiology, so you must know about that, what is basically an e-test, okay? So let's start with the video. First of all, uh, before starting the procedure of the e-test, you must know that what is minimum inhibitory concentration. After knowing this, then I will use this term in the later video. So first of all, you should know about the definition that it is the lowest concentration of, anti, of an antimicrobial agent that will inhibit the visible growth of a microorganism after overnight incubation. This means that the lowest concentration of antimicrobial agent that uh, that should that should kill or they should inhibit the growth of microorganisms. Okay, uh, we all know that antibiotics are used against different microorganisms in order to inhibit or in order to kill their uh, to kill them or inhibit their growth. So the lowest concentration of that microorganism, uh, sorry, that antimicrobial agents, uh, we check the that at which concentration. Uh, the microorganism cannot grow or, uh, or cannot grow in that media, okay? So if you uh, come across the MIC, the short form is the uh, MIC. So again, I'm saying that this means that the lowest concentration of the antibiotic, antimicrobial drug that is used or, uh, against a microorganism to inhibit its growth, okay? So in this, uh, in this uh, e-test, we will find that what is the lowest concentration of that antimicrobial agent against a specific type of microorganism, okay? So after knowing the MIC, then we can use these uh, antibiotic in our daily, uh, in a, uh, then we can give uh, that certain amount of dose to the patient and they will recover from that infection, okay? I am again. I am telling you that why it is uh, why it is important. So clinically, MIC is not only used to determine the amount of antibiotic, but it is also used uh, that the patient will receive, but also the type of antibiotic use. Okay, uh, by testing the M, the by conducting e test, so we will also come across the amount of antibiotic that how much we will use it, and we will also know that which type of antibiotic we will use. Okay. So uh, you will be more clear um, about this passage in the later video, okay? So, and again, this is uh, this will lower the opportunity for microbial resistance, okay? So for example, there is a patient and he is showing resistance to a uh, different, uh, um, uh, different antibiotic, okay? Uh, the microorganisms that are present inside uh, him or her is showing resistance to antibiotic. So we will just take his, uh, his blood and we'll conduct an e-test and we'll, uh, we'll find out that which antibiotic is best for him to use uh, at that time, okay? So uh, this, uh, that is why this e-test is used. Now uh, we will come, uh, come to the uh, introduction of the e-test. So e-test is a well-established method for antimicrobial resistance testing in microbial uh, microbiology laboratory. As I have told you that it is used to check the antimicrobial resistance and the sensitivity of microorganism against uh, uh, antibiotics and other antimicrobial drugs, okay? So what does it uh, consist of? So it consists of a predefined gradient of antibiotic 
concentration on on a plastic strip i will uh, this uh, just look to the second point i will discuss it in the later video in an uh, in an uh, in a specific slide that what does this means uh, this is basically it uh, this means the structure of the strip and i will show you that what is the structure of the strip okay uh, after that i used to determine the minimal inhibitory concentration as i have told you that the, this test is used to um, uh, determine the minimum inhibitory concentration of the antibiotic okay so antibiotics can also be used in these steps antifungal agent and antimicrobial agent okay these three type of agents can be used by in this strip and uh, it can determine the mic okay so this was just the introduction of the e test now when you will uh, you will come across the procedure so then you will be much clearer about the uh, the e test okay but uh, first you should know about the introduction so uh, uh, let's start now with the procedure so it is a very simple test if i, I if i want to start from the a um, from the very beginning so first uh, if you got a patient uh, uh, if you got an uh, a specimen or for example you have or uh, take a blood from a uh, from a person of or from other uh if it is a blood or if it is a uh, a felgum or any type of urine okay so first what will you you do so the first step is that you should prepare the media okay you should prepare an a culture media for that microorganism okay so after that this is the media this is the first step you will take it and you will uh, uh you will uh then add water to it and after that you will prepare the media okay there are certain uh, different other steps in the preparation of media but i'm not going to the much detail because uh, if i want to tell you uh, just in a hurry so uh, first you should take the media then you have to uh, check the wet and after that uh, you have to dissolve it in the uh, specific amount of water after that sorry uh, after that what will you do so okay this is the one number and this is the two number after that when it is uh, dissolved in the water so then you will uh, take this beaker in which you have prepared the media okay and then you will cover the head of the uh, beaker and after that you should uh, you should then uh, keep it in the autoclave okay so up till now this is the very basic concept every microbiologist per, um, student should know about these steps okay after that when when it is prepared and uh, when it is uh, you know, uh, uh, sorry when it is autoclave so after that you have to pour the media into the petri plates okay again i am telling you that you should also uh, incubate uh, sorry you should also autoclave the petri petri plates okay that you will use in uh, uh, you will use in pouring the media okay so after that when you pour the media in the petri plates uh, so then you will uh, just wait for a, for a uh, for a five to ten minutes to to, to cool there uh, just to wait for the 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 media should be cooled okay in the petri plate after that what will you do then you will take the uh, inoculum okay then you will take the inoculum and take a, a specific swab this is a, uh, this is a swab that is used in the microbiology labs okay this is the perfect swab you will take a sterile swab and dipped in, in a, dipped it in the blood or in the inoculum and after that you will take it out and you will just um, th this is the uh, this is the media that we have prepared okay so then you will streak the uh, the inoculum over the media okay so it should be and you should uh, you should be uh, much pretty sure that you should cover all the surface of the media okay all the surface including this area and uh, including the middle area you should cover all of the surface of the media okay not just you will do the in a specific uh, direction the streaking that we are doing in, on the wire loop this is a swab so you will uh, rub all the uh, you will rub the swab in all the area okay on the all the area just keep this thing in mind okay after that what will you do then you will place a uh, uh, the specific strip that is known as the uh, that this strip is used in the e uh, in the e test okay this is the most important uh, part of the video uh, uh, so first of all uh, you should know about the structure of the strip what does this uh, strip consist of okay so it consists of different layers uh, here just two layers are shown it is made of plastic and uh, just uh, if we look here so 
this is the code of the antibiotic okay uh, here it, it, it will be named at uh, which antibiotic is in uh, is immobilized in this strip okay so here this is the antibiotic this is this, this space consists of the antibiotic okay it is made in the uh, in the factories and is manufactured in the factories and after that it is given to the laboratory labs okay so what will you do uh, sorry here is the uh, and this is the reading scale of the antibiotic so keep this thing in mind that uh, uh, from here the amount of the antibiotic is very much lower in about 0.004 uh microgram per milliliter and when you go up the strip so and now the concentration of antibiotic is increased okay so here the the, uh, the antibiotic will be in a lesser amount and gradually the amount of antibiotic will be increased okay keep this thing in mind that it is immobilized over the surface of the strip okay these are this is the antibiotic okay and here the concentration will be the highest okay so and this is the scale just look here if we consider in that what will be the concentration of antibiotic here so here is 0.75 microgram per milliliter okay if you look here so here is 12 microgram per milliliter so the um, antibiotic is the chemical is immobilized over this surface this is a it is a very simple strip okay so after that you will place you will take you will take a forceps and you will uh, just uh, place the uh, this strip over the uh, petri plate okay over your inoculum and after that what will you do you will wait for a night or 24 hours and after that then you will uh, get your results okay these are the results for example this is the inoculum this white color is the inoculum and here is uh, this portion is basically this portion is the action of the antibiotic and here there is zero growth uh, I want to tell you that we have taken the media, uh, it was in a brown color, but uh, this uh, don't judge the color, just uh, just make yourself clear about the concept, okay. So here, this is the growth of the, it, it, it is the active growth of the microorganism, and here the growth is, uh, all the microorganisms are killed, okay. So I want to tell you that you should just check here, just look, uh, just look here, the MIC, this is the MIC. You will just check the the that point from where the uh, microbial growth is uh, stalled or it is uh, or the microorganisms are killed. Okay, so on the 0 0.064 microgram per milliliter of the antibiotic, the microorganisms uh, the growth of the microorganism is inhibited, and and when we move move upward, so now here the microorganisms are killed. Okay. So here, if someone asks you that what is this area, so you will uh, you will say that this is uh, uh, this is where, this is a pure uh, culture. Okay, oh, sorry, this is the area where there is no microorganism. Okay, this is the area where there is no microorganism. So up till here, these microorganisms are killed. Okay, the growth of the microorganism are uh, is stopped and killed. Okay. So, and this, uh, how this antibiotic uh, perform its function, it diffuses across the media, okay, it diffuses from its, uh, the strip, and after that, when the microorganisms are killed, okay, just look here, uh, just look here to this strip, and uh, this is an another antibiotic, okay, and this is an another antibiotic, the TM, this is the, uh, the, this is the abbreviation of the antibiotic. Uh, uh, according to this antibiotic, I don't know that what is the abbreviation of the IP. I think uh, it should be, uh, sorry, it is not coming in my mind. But uh, I just look here, the minimal inhibitory concentration of the this antibiotic is in between the 0 0.064 and the 0 0.094, okay. Here is the minimal inhibitory concentration, okay. So at this, uh, so from this result, you will come to know that when we use this antibiotic, so at this uh, dose, at this dose, the microorganism will start uh, the killing of the microorganism and the growth of the microorganism will stop here, okay? And if we use this type of um, antibiotic, so from this uh, concentration, 
the, the, the growth of the microorganism will stop, okay? And this is an, another antibiotic and it, uh, so this all result means that we will check the sensitivity of the, uh, the antibiotic that at which concentration uh, the microorganism, uh, the growth of the microorganism is inhibited, okay? So this was all about the e-test and I think you have understand that what is basically an e-test and it is very much simple test. Just uh, the, uh, the time that is required is just uh, uh, in the preparation of the media and 40 to 45 minutes are taken by the autoclave. After that, you, uh, uh, it should be conducted uh, in just two, in 10 minutes and then you will place it in the incubator for a night and after that tomorrow you will see the result okay so the active oh, if you if you want to perform it in the laboratory so it is very much easy just follow the steps there are many many videos over uh, on the youtube you can also check it they are performing an active uh, and uh, practically the eaters so watch also those videos uh, it will be much informative for you if you have understand this video so like this video and uh, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos related to science and microbiology. Thank you very much. God bless you.